I've been on a walk and I've collected all these beautiful fall leaves. Now, I'm always on the search for the smallest ones I can find simply because of what I like to make with them. Pendants, bookmarks, magnets, um, all sorts of things. So you can make magnets with the big ones too. Um, wall art. They make beautiful wall art. I've seen um, where people take the whole progression of the different colors and then just put it almost like a rainbow in one long framed piece, but they're just so easy to press and they're just beautiful. And so I've picked these from the tree. You can get them off the ground. Um, I like to get them off the tree because they haven't quite gone crispy yet. And so all we're gonna do by pressing them is basically stop them, stop them in their in their color cycle and freeze them where they are. So I'll clear some of this away and we can we can get pressing. with some of my bigger ones. And you can put as many as you can fit. Again, don't overlap them. Let's see what else I can fit on here. Not quite. So we're going to go with that. Now, if you pick them off the ground, they are going to be much drier. So you will want to shorten your bursts. that's all it takes. They already start with a somewhat papery feel. They're already quite dry, drier than uh, leaves picked in the middle of summer. So they don't require a whole lot, but it just retains that beautiful color, just how it went in. So do some more.
we can get that one to stay flat the way it is. I'm rolling it down so that I can take my time and try to position, especially this one that's got two attached to it. Position them flat. I love how this turned out with the little flower on, or uh, leaf on there. Now I'll get to my smaller ones. As you're doing this, why don't you share with the group how you like to use fall leaves in your pressed flower art, what you like to make with them.
I'm calling it. Now, rolling this down, be really careful because there's a lot that want to stand up and fold. I want them to be flat so I can get them. Especially the very tips, so make sure they don't move over to their neighbor. Tweezers come in handy if you need them to get any fine points laid down. There we go. I didn't get it quite lined up, so I'm going to keep the liner still, and I'm just going to pull the pad over only. That way, I don't risk repositioning any of my pet, uh, any of my leaves. Always wipe your plantains off. You can kind of gauge things by doing that. Now I know that my microwave dries these in 30 seconds. Your every microwave is different. So if you do your 30 seconds and you don't find that they're they're dry or they're they're crispy because you don't want you don't want them breaking when you do that they want to hold their own not flop but not crispy you know it's still it's still flexible so if you find that they're getting crispy and they just crack then you want to use less time because they've been over processed if you find that they're not quite dry then maybe put it in for another shorter burst, say 20 seconds or 15 seconds, depending on the strength of your microwave, the same as you would a flower, shorter burst each time until they're dry. My favorites are the two-tone ones. Just a few more small ones to do. And I will have lots to work with.
Oops. <laughs> doesn't matter if the liner sticks out as long as you can still close your press it's the pads you really want to be lined up because they will keep the clips from going are not so wet when they go in they don't tend to stick or stick very badly either which is nice and it's almost like fall anytime pull these out now, a tip for these, you want to lay them flat because you don't want them breaking. They will break even more than flower petals will. Depending on how are you using them, if you want them to remain um, flexible, you can coat them with Mod Podge. I like to take stamps and cut little confetti pieces out and if you coat it with Mod Podge first they'll come out a little bit better they it'll keep it from cracking um, and even protect the little pieces the little shapes that you're punching out with your whole your different shaped hole punches so that's just a little tip but go out and collect those fall leaves and show us what you make